Hi, I'm Kerry from DP Review. We know that focus settings on the uh, Sony a7R2 can be fairly complex, so we thought we'd boil down for you a fairly robust AF setup for most shooting scenarios, except for landscapes where we tend to use back button AFS. But let's take a look. We assign IAF to C3, the easiest accessible back button. We then assign the camera to AFC and the AF area to lock on AF flexible spot M. We prefer to change our AF area by assigning the center button on the back to focus settings, which allows you to change the AF area by turning the dial after pressing it, or move the AF point around if we're in a flexible spot mode. Now if you just hold the IAF button down, the camera will find the nearest discernible eye and focus on it, making it incredibly good for instantaneous capture of candid moments no matter where your subject is in the frame, and this aids compositional freedom. If you have more than one person in the scene, you can quickly select the person you want the camera to target by placing them under the AF point, holding down the IAF button, and recomposing as you keep the IAF button held down. The camera will automatically track your initial subject's eye or face. This is a very fast way of selecting your person of interest on the fly while getting the pinpoint accuracy of IAF. The great thing about having lock on AF as your underlying focus mode is that if you do have a subject of interest that isn't an easily recognizable face, you can just place that subject under your AF point and half press the shutter button to activate tracking of any subject, such as Dan on a skateboard here. You can also use lock on AF to focus and recompose, having the camera track your initial subject so that if the subject moves, it still stays in focus. Note though that if the camera loses your initial subject or your subject looks away or turns such that the camera can no longer detect a face, there is a risk of someone else in the scene becoming the target. Even when your original subject faces the camera again, the camera doesn't return to the original subject despite having never let go of the IAF button. Now this is an unfortunate quirk that often makes it difficult to maintain focus on subjects of interest when multiple people are in the scene, and we hope that Sony tweaks the algorithm to preferentially return to the original face as soon as it is detected again.